Good morning. Welcome to your weekly message from First Congregational Church, Milford, New Hampshire. I'm your pastor, Al Hoyt. Today is Thursday, July 30th. I want to wish all our Muslim brothers and sisters a happy Eid al-Adha, which is the celebration of Abraham's willingness to sacrifice his son Isaac and signifies the end of the annual Hajj, or pilgrimage to Mecca. I am really thrilled with the way our outdoor worship went. I hope um, those of you who were there, I know there were 30 people here and they all seemed to enjoy it. Um, we managed to keep socially distant. We had some great music. Um, I want to thank everybody who helped set up. Um, it was it was a effort by a whole lot of people. And I mentioned them all in an email, so I hope I didn't forget anybody. Um, this week will be a regular video service. There'll be a couple of surprises, but I'm not going to tell you what they are. <clears throat> Wouldn't be a surprise, would it? So I get a daily, um, daily devotional from the UCC. It's a free email that you can sign up for on the UCC's website. And it's the same writers that do most of their, um, most of their worship guides and things, the still speaking writers group. And um, Tuesday, Kenneth Samuel, who is uh, uh, one of the writers, wrote something that I really, really resonated with me this week, and I hope you enjoy it too. It's called Keep the Child Alive. And it quotes 1 Kings verse three, uh, chapter three, verse 27. Then the king said, do not kill the child, but give him to the woman who wants him to live, for she is his mother. That reading comes right after my discussion on One Kings last, last week, so. But Kenneth writes, my younger brother and I had quite a few heated confrontations while growing up. Our clashes could last for days. But every day when dinner time rolled around, we had to at least stop yelling and adopt a civil tone with each other because mother would not countenance unbrotherly behavior at the dinner table. The times when we allowed our anger at each other to outweigh our appetite for mother's good cooking were the times that we both had to forfeit a good meal. Wanton hostility between us would send us both to bed hungry. When two women argue over who is the rightful parent of a baby, it's very difficult for the king to determine who's telling the truth. The king decides that the truth cannot be found in the woman willing to destroy the child in order to pr prosecute her claim. The woman willing to sacrifice her claim in order to keep the child alive is the woman whose claim prevails. Democracy is a give and take enterprise. Every eligible citizen has a vote and a voice, but none of us get everything we want in any given contest. In all our clashing, we must be mindful to know what we might forfeit with wanton hostility. Winning our claims at the cost of losing democracy is a loss for everyone, because democracy gives even the losers the chance to live to fight another day. And his prayer is, Lord, help us to not allow our antagonisms to cause us to forfeit what you have prepared for us at the table of democracy. Amen. That really resonated with me because my older brother and I used to fight like cats and dogs, tooth and nail constantly. Um, I have scars to prove it. <clears throat> and it really, it really did resonate with me and I thought it was an appropriate reading for today. So please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. I hope to see many of you again on the 9th when we do our next outdoor service. Um, we'll be doing our regular video service this week. As I said, there'll be a couple of surprises. Um, I may even send out a little 
activity for the kids to do. So, but we'll see about that as we go. So stay safe, stay cool, take care of each other, take care of yourselves, and God bless.